Igbo must go. You haven't arrested the guy in Lagos. He's still there. Now, look at this one. That moon thing. Saying this kind. Watch this video. Call this guy for questioning. It is high time you start telling the people that are dividing us that there is no place for them. Hello guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Okay guys, we don't come back again. I tell you I said things they go. I'm out of the play for Nigeria. I did to bring a company at all step. Make when I said things they unfold. Without we see much of an attack. Guys, take your time watch this video. Yeah, waiting Isaac Fayoshi they talk right now. Say me Nigeria police go arrest the Igbo guys way they Lagos. EG is pedaliting. Guys, I will play you guys a video of spedality, what is said concerning the Eurobars against, you know, concerning the Eagles getting pregnant for the Eurobars and having babies for the Eurobars. Hear what is said. And on this video, Isaac Fayoshi came out to make a video to call out Nigeria police, IGP, to arrest Speed Darlington for the division of the country for telling Igbos not to get married to Yorubas, any Igbo ladies that have babies for Yoruba man, that baby will be a R.I.P. Like guys, take your time, watch this video. My own reason why I'm making this video is when Yorubas, some of these Yorubas were calling out the Igbos, Igbos must leave Lagos. I did not see this Isaac Fayoshe came out to do a video, call out Nigeria police to arrest this Eurobars, some of these Eurobars, he didn't come outside to do any video. He said, IGP, Nigeria police, should come and arrest uh, Spindality. See, let me tell you guys something. I'm not in support of what Spindality said. Yeah, I'm not in support. What he said is wrong. But when the Eurobars came outside, started attacking the Igbos, this same guy, called Isaac Fayoshi did not come outside to call out Nigeria police to arrest the people that are harassing the Igbos. But on this video, hear what is said and you will listen to what Spidality said. Even 2023 presidential election, when MC Olu Omo came outside, this same guy, Isaac Fayoshi, never did a video to call out Nigeria police to arrest MC Olu Omo. No. But just because of what this guy said now, you are calling Nigeria police to come and arrest Spidality. Like, <laughs> guys, take your time watch this video. Please do me a favor. Share this video, please. Share the video. Nigeria police, you are not doing your job. You need to do more. The guy that wrote on his page that Igbo must go. You haven't arrested the guy in Lagos. He's still there. Now, look at this one, Darlington, or Darlington, or Mumunting, saying this kind. Watch this video. Call this guy for questioning. It is high time you start telling the people that are dividing us that there is no place for them in Ninja history. Awisa, Igbo, Yoruba, we are one. Nobody should separate us. Call this guy for questioning now, Ninja police. All those evil girls where they fuck your bad boys, all those who Zaya baby, all those evil girls where they burn for Lagos, where things say they be Yoruba people. Lost souls that don't even know the direction to their village. God go punish all of them. All you evil girls where they fuck your bad boys. Who nearly got one sister? Who no got one give them one one? As you they burn for your bad man, I saw you go die. You no go carry that baby. You no go carry that Pekin. All you Igbo girls where they fuck Yoruba guys. Go go punish all of you now. As you they burn that Pekin, you go die. Okay, guys. This was the video Speedality did that make Isaac Fayoshi to come outside to call out Nigeria police to arrest this guy, saying that this guy is dividing the country. Like, I understand what this guy said is harsh. But, I didn't see anything like division here. Yes, I will tell you guys the plain truth. I know what he said is harsh. He said, those Igbo guys that are having babies for the Yorubas, blah, blah, blah. But he didn't come outside to say, oh, we need this, we need division. No, he didn't say that. 
But it is you, Isaac Fayoshe, who now generalize this whole story, try to, you know, turn this, this whole story to other dimension, to make people think that this guy is saying something different. If you put your ear down, this guy is talking about relationship stuff. You know, maybe some Igbo, you, you guys know spirituality. This guy is somebody who is like, you know, you understand. Maybe he told one of the Igbo guests now, and this guy did not agree for him. And this guy have boyfriend. The boyfriend is a Yoruba guy that make him to trigger her to say all these things. Then this guy, as he came outside and started doing this video, calling at Nigeria police, DSS, to arrest this guy. Arrest him for what? This guy only is his own mind. This is pain. If anybody wants to be arrested in Nigeria, have you done a video to arrest MC Oluomo? When MC Oluomo came out publicly, even the Nigeria police saw him doing it. Did you come out to do a video to call out Nigeria police to arrest MC Oluomo? When he said the Igbos they don't have right to vote in Lagos. Isaac, did you come outside to do a video to condemn that or call out Nigeria police to arrest Insolomo? No. You want to start this your video? Look at how you started it. You said, oh, Nigeria police, you guys are not doing your job. That guy that wrote in his blog or a blog that said, Ashtal Igbo must go. You haven't arrested that person. Now look at this one. So so and so person. Like, my brother, we know our skis. We know our skis. You try to put down one to start it with that blogger that said hashtag Igbo must go. Then you now bring in Darlington. Before Darlington, why didn't you come outside to do a video to say search for this blogger who said hashtag Igbo, Igbo must leave Lagos? Why didn't you come outside to do a video for him or her? To come for the arrest of that blogger. You didn't come outside. But now you are, you know, try to, you know, create an awareness for Nigeria police will not arrest this guy because he didn't do anything by he didn't buy anybody, he just talked with his mouth. Freedom of speech is allowed. The guy didn't buy anybody. Know that you know what I, I keep saying it. What he said, speedality, what he said is wrong. But you don't have right to tell the Nigeria police to go and arrest him. Before you tell Nigeria police to arrest Pidality, tell Nigeria police to arrest those Eurobars, some of those Eurobars that are rumpling, disturbing, fighting the Igbos in Lagos. I watched a video where some of the police supporting these Eurobars, some of the Eurobars fighting the Igbos, destroying their property. I saw that video. It's not last year. I saw the video. I was like, really? Some of the police, we are supporting these thugs. Some of the Eurobars attacking the Eagles. Are you trying to tell me that you didn't see that video? That video went viral. But none of you came out to call for the arrest of those people. Have you come outside to make a video to arrest this man called a Bayanunuga? Have you come outside to do a video? This big old record by Anunuga. That guy every time is inciting violence on the Igbos. None of you come outside to do a video to fight for the Igbos. But just because Pedality did this one now, you are, see, make with the torture for that country, Nigeria. Eh? There is nothing like one Nigeria. We just need to tell ourselves the truth. When the Igbos, when I'm not saying when the Igbos, the Igbos, what's now what's now love about them? Those guys, they they hardly say something. No amount of fight you fight these people. You know, they always preach peace. Calm down. Don't worry, everything will get better. That's the language of the Igbos. That is the language of the Igbos. They don't just, you know, come outside to start fighting. Oh, okay, no, no. They will allow the whole scenario to calm down. Then they will come outside and start it. You know, guys, we are one Nigeria. We don't need to fight. They are here for business. That's what the Igbo man does. But you see, your people, Isaac, your people, often come outside to attack these people. They come outside to attack them, call them all sorts of names, do their own kind of things. 
you never come outside to you know tackle the issue you know address the issue to tell your people to stop stop attacking these people even to the extent Bola meant if Tinubu was against the Eagles last year 2023 presidential election we saw everything how many of you come outside to discuss about it none of you came out but right now you want to create scene you want to create awareness you want to call a Nigeria police on speed dialing for what now why calling police for him why if Nigeria police will arrest anybody they need to go back to the old plans and start arresting those people who fought, who threatened, who attacked the Eagles. 2023 presidential election. Video is still online. They have the video, everything online. How many of these people have they arrested? None of them. But you guys will come outside. If the Eagles say anything, you will just quickly jump at, oh, hey, a disclaimer. Hey, this, the Eagles want to divide the country. No, the Eagles, see, we understand, okay, they want Biafra. But you see those ones in Lagos. Those guys don't push anything like division. I'll tell you guys the plain truth. Those ones in Lagos. I understand some of them, they want Biafra. But you see them, they are there for their business. Doing their business. They don't talk about, oh, no, it is you people. Some of you, these Yoruba people. They are inciting violence on these people. Telling them to leave Lagos. As if Lagos belongs to the Yorubans. You yeah, Lagos belongs to the Edos. Lagos belongs to the Edos. You guys just need to read history and see who owns Lagos. Lagos does not belong to the Yoruba. So Lagos, everybody is entitled to stay in Lagos. Everybody is entitled to stay in Lagos. So you coming out now to tell police to go and arrest speedality. Please, Isaac, you need to do more better. You just need to do more better. Tell the same police to arrest the people that are fighting the Igbos in Lagos. You know, I did a video. I told you guys, you see this guy that wrote hashtag Igbo must leave Lagos. Allow this, allow this protest to go off. See, nobody or this, yeah, this early this month when the protest started, I told you guys, this hashtag Igbo must go. They are not going to investigate anything. Nigeria police will not come outside to give us the next storyline of it. Till today, we are still waiting. No story came out. Nigeria police did not come outside to tell us, oh, we arrested the people who said uh, hashtag Igbo must go. Nothing like that. But whenever the Igbo just say anything, anything, you will see that they will just jump at. Oh, hey, the Igbo want to share Niger share waiting. Share waiting. How? I will not only find their trouble. Not only find their trouble. That's how I will end this video. Please. Don't get me wrong. What Spidality said is wrong. What he said is wrong. Yeah. He don't have the right to tell anybody who he or she want to fall in love with. He don't have the right to tell anybody who he or she want to have baby with. But you see coming out to tell them Nigeria police to go and arrest him. No. No. That is no, no, no. Guys, I will end this video. I come in peace. Please to share this video. As you all do so, God bless you. See you guys on my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.